Hello everybody, welcome to my little Dune 2K Plus uh, toolkit tutorial. So, as many people requested um, some tutorials for the map editor and mission editor, because these two are mainly used, um, I'm going to sh uh, make a series of tutorials about them. So, first of all, uh, today I'm going to show you one of the most interesting part like uh, creating reinforcements, starport reinforcements, carrier reinforcements and uh, unit spawns and as well as working a bit on uh, the campaign map editor okay so let's just get started opening first the campaign editor and uh, yep opening a map, right now I don't have a uh, any project in my mind or campaign working so I'm just going to open a practice map and uh, let's just open this one okay so this is just to show you how to create reinforcements Let's just okay. Let's say that the prayer is Atreides. Placing construction yard, and we want the player to receive reinforcements via the starport. So let's just place down the starport. Some wind traps. Remove this. Okay, and now just set up a harpoon. One building construction yards. We are not going to uh, cover AI for now, just um, reinforcements. The AI editing and enabling AI will be um, in the next tutorials. <coughs> okay, so enough with wasting time on buildings. We are now gonna save the map. Let's just call it tot dot map. Okay, so we have the map on desktop right now. And in order to add reinforcements, we can do it using campaign map editor. So we need to open this mission editor. It's opening. Okay, so this is um, where you do lots of stuff and you customize the mission add AI and make it interesting so you really need to master this program okay let's uh, oops oh yeah we need a miss file so I forgot about this you can create a new one okay if I remember well I have some kind of empty miss files from my yep that's the backups and this one is for orders but Anyway, let's just with this occasion you uh, learn to use the following command: change structure owner. You can see this um, tool is very useful when you created a base and forgot something, or you just placed structures and for Harkonnen or any other house, and then you want to change. So this is very useful for this. So we want to change from Atreides to Ordos because the miss file right here the empty one is for Ordos as the human player so we're going to put this one from Atreides to Ordos uh, the swap button is useful if let's say I already put an Ordos base on the map and I want to switch them like this to be uh, Ordos now and the other base to be Atreides but I didn't enable any Ordos structures until now so now this is Ornus. Okay, saving the map again. I recommend, uh, I highly recommend using save map as because I had some problems with this program, not saving the map when only normal save. Okay, so this is the empty miss file. Of course, some conditions, I didn't delete the conditions because some of them are quite useful sometimes. And like this. You don't have to remake them. Okay, so 
where I orders here we have tech levels now don't ask him ask me why uh, here is 8 because I really do not know but it works so we, you can leave it as it is or just put 7 in it will work from what I know um, you don't really have to bother about this sandworm okay so you just here you set a starting money whatever you want let it be um, 7000 and this is very important in the index allocations this tells the game uh, which house each uh, faction is so if I change this Fremen to zero then the Fremens will be will act as house Atreides instead of Fremens but will still own special buildings like Siege and Arashith so that if you ever opened a mish um, let's say I think Ordos Mission 9 version 2 yep Ordos Mission 9 version 2 has a Fremen base in uh, Harkonnen territory which in game acts as Emperor but if you open the map with the map editor you see that it's Fremen so that's how they made it they enabled the Fremen the, uh, 3 so the Fremen will act as Emperor because you see Emperor is, is 3 okay so we don't need it right now so just go ahead here is the diplomacy settings I'm pretty sure you know how to use it because it's quite obvious if you want to ally with someone just select here from the three <coughs> from the three states and remember the uh, the diplomacy works uh, two-sided so you really need to if I want to ally with Emperor you have to go to the Emperor section right here and do the same so they now Atreides and Emperor are allied okay ignoring all these stuff uh, I told you are going to go for reinforcements I I'll tell you about these later on and these too right now just go for reinforcements okay so first of all we need a condition what is a condition I'm pretty sure it's obvious but I'm going to explain it a bit the condition is the I don't know it's kind of obvious I don't really think I need to explain so when the timer hits specific uh, amount of I don't know what's this seconds I don't know um, the event is triggered so it will happen uh, for let's create first a carrier reinforcement <coughs> just for the beginning uh, now let me um, tell you the difference between interval and timer um, timer has these uh, comparison functions this is greater than smaller than equals when it's equal it happens only one time so note it same as the two of them above and this percent is the only one who repeats the action uh, forever so if I use this and uh, I put let's say 5000 because it's quite an, a reasonable time or let it be 10,000 okay so uh, hit apply don't for, don't forget to hit apply okay so now it will repeat the action every this amount of time the interval is useful when you let's say you want to um, run a reinforcement event for five times let's say five times um, <coughs> excuse me so you just said time and here's the delay until the uh, uh, event starts so now the uh, if we choose this one the reinforcement will occur five times but only five times not forever like this will do but we're going just to use timer and using equals so you receive a very small amount of reinforcements as soon as the game starts 2000 okay now go to add and you see reinforcement right here now 
these are the coordinates of the carrier drop so it's very important to um, write them good and how can you do it just go to the map editor and uh, right here you see in the corner in the bottom left corner of the program the coordinates so let's just add him right here near the starboard a x is 8 and uh, y is 7 so we're just gonna put them down. Now what is deploy action? Well that's used only for AI players. <coughs> well when uh, this is set to zero the AI player will just um, keep their units where they are in guard mode so they are not going to move them or uh, to attack with them. When they when it is set to one it will automatically attack as soon as the carrier drop finished so it will move the units and attack the, uh, the closest enemy when it is set to 2 then uh, the AI player will use those units to defend the base so it will patrol the base and uh, provide defense and side this is the owner of the units which come from the starport so we are doing for Atreides uh, when you do reinforcements for human player you can really ignore the deploy action because it doesn't do anything so right now just adding some I don't know units oh yeah these are nice I'm gonna tell you about them some uh, later carrial uh, dropping a carrial that would be nice okay so I don't care uh, the units we are going for timer uh, number for 13 so here has how to change the condition as you can see now it's uh, going to use this condition hit apply right now af after 2000 you will receive some kind of reinforcements uh, near the base Oops, uh, yep, we are orders, I forgot this, okay. Now, let's talk about unit spawn, which is very important for AI players. Because uh, if you place units for AI, hope, uh, hoping that he will use the units to defend his base, well, you are wrong, because he won't. He will just keep them on guard. So if I put this combat tank right here and this combat tank right here, they will stay all the game at that position. They won't move, only to engage units. But after they kill the units, they retreat to the same position, unless they are destroyed, of course. So to avoid that and have, let's say, for the beginning of the game, a small squad to defend, you go to change type. Um, and go to the, to the last one or not the last the unit spawn and hit change now you uh, it is kinda similar to the uh, reinforcement event so coordinates let's just add the units near the construction yard so okay Well, now, deploy action is very important for this event. I highly recommend to set it to 2, so it will move the units um, and patrol the base, because I'm not sure, but I remember that once I used 1 or 0 and the game crashed, so it's highly recommended to use 2, since that's the reason you want this event. And then for Harkona. This is useful uh, for... Um, AI players because for human players you can place the units from the campaign editor so you don't need this event now add some units just random units and a timer well if you want uh, if you want a, an action to happen as soon as the game starts set it to 1 I don't really recommend to use 0 because I had a crash with it so okay hit apply 
the equal will mean that it will happen only once so it won't receive those unit spawns for all the time and use 36 event hit apply ok so now Ordos will receive a carrier reinforcement right here and Harkonnen will have some combat tanks right uh, some units right here a raider and uh, one light infantry if I remember well okay so now the only last part of the tutorial starport reinforcements so go to starport delivery hit change now you can ignore the coordinates because the frigate will arrive at the starport no matter what you said right here so the deploy action is also useless from what I know the AI doesn't count this so the only important thing from this is the side so we are orders we are going to create some reinforcements for them for ourselves and I don't know just put some random units right here okay now the timer I as I said I recommend if you want like I don't know decent reinforcements to use 5000 and the percent comparison because this will repeat the starport delivery as long as you have a starport of course okay so hit apply and now you should have starport reinforcements forever until uh, the starport is destroyed uh, you should have a carrier drop near your base as uh, quite soon as the game started and the Harkonnen should have some units to defend okay so we kinda covered the some basic stuff right here I really hope you and guys you guys uh, enjoyed this tutorial and I'm going to sh uh, come with more stuff to do like uh, AI which is very important for any mission and also time limits which okay is not that used but you can make uh, very interesting stuff with that and the tile set which is also very important if you don't want the mission to look crappy okay so see ya guys thanks for watching